Hi, I'm Herrick Kimball, and I'd like to talk to you in this video about bracing and the importance of bracing in a structure, whether it's your house or a barn, whatever it is, when you build it, you need bracing. You need bracing to strengthen the building against racking stresses from wind, uh, primarily. And there was a time when stud-framed houses were braced with a let-in brace, like you see here. The studs were notched. The brace went from the top plate at a 45 degree angle down to the bottom plate and it was nailed right in to each stud and that gave the building incredible strength, racking strength. The triangle is, a, I think, one of your strongest structures there is, a triangle. Buckminster Fuller, uh, he invented the geodesic dome, a very strong structure. It's all triangles. I think it's a good idea. It's, virtually never done anymore to let in a uh, one by or a two by and put this bracing in the wall. It doesn't cost that much, it takes a few minutes. If you're doing your own construction project, then that's the thing to do. Now, the reason that let in braces are no longer used is because the plywood, which I'm starting to lay, put on this wall here, is uh, considered adequate for bracing, as long as you nail it properly. And a lot of people really don't nail it properly. Uh, they kind of nail it up and don't really nail it on, at least not like they should. And the reason I'm bringing this to your attention is that uh, a couple of months ago, I was on Facebook, I was looking at one of my rural neighbors' Facebook page, and they had built a barn, a pole barn, and it was, a very nice pole barn and I was admiring their barn and I noticed however that this barn was lacking in bracing there were no angle braces in the corners there were no knee braces visible and the Y braces uh, on the at each pole were really short basically uh, I, I don't think they were serving much of a purpose at all, S a bracing purpose. I could not see up into the trusses to see if they had the truss, the trusses properly braced, but I suspect they did not based on what I saw down below. Now, these people who I know are not stupid people, but evidently they are not aware of the inc incredible strength and importance of bracing especially in a pole barn. You could leave these out of your house, put plywood on, and you'd be okay. But if you put in some braces like this, you're gonna be even better. I mean, it's a good feeling to know that you braced your house like they used to brace houses. I did send my friends, my neighbors, a uh, private message on Facebook and pointed out that, you know, that's a beautiful barn, but wow, you are missing some very important structural elements there. And that barn might stand perfectly fine for decades, but it's in an area that, it's, it's in an open area, it's gonna get wind, and uh, I'm afraid it's gonna fold up in a big wind. And the, the only uh, real strength in the barn is the metal siding that is screwed into the horizontal purlins on the side of the, on the, side of the barn. You know, that does give it some strength, but that is not uh, structural strength that you can count on in a storm. So there's a little uh, discussion on bracing and the importance of bracing. The triangles. Triangles are where it's at when it comes to strength in a building. Enough said. 